All right, to get started, I just added a video clip to my timeline that I'd like to speed up. To do this, right click your clip and go to speed slash duration. You can also use the Control R keyboard shortcut instead. In the pop-up, make sure the speed's percent value is selected and then increase it above 100. You also want to make sure that this little chain is toggled on so that your clip's duration changes with its speed. Now I'll just hit OK to confirm my changes, and when I play this back, it's super sped up. For the next example, let's say you only want to speed up part of your video. First, move the playhead to where you want to start speeding it up. Then select the razor tool from the toolbar, and make a cut at the playhead's position. Now move the playhead to where you want your video to resume at its normal speed, and make a cut at that position. Next, simply use the selection tool to select the cutout clip, and use the Ctrl R keyboard shortcut to bring back up the speed settings. In here, just increase your speed's percentage like I showed you before. Since speeding up our middle clip is going to leave a gap between it and the clips after it, be sure to check Ripple Edit so everything stays together. Alright, first notice how my last clip stayed together with the rest of my clips. And now when I play this back, my clip only speeds up during the part I cut out. For my last example, let's say you sped up a clip with some audio and you're not liking how high pitched the audio became. The first thing you can try is opening up the speed settings and check maintain audio pitch. Okay, this still doesn't sound good, but it might work for you, especially if you just have a voiceover or something. If your video and audio don't need to be synced, another option is to right click your clip and select unlink. Now you can select your video portion of your clip and change its speed settings independently of your audio. Afterwards, you might need to trim your audio to match the length of your video. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial, so as always, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.